You know, a key concept in walleye fishing is understanding fish migrations and the mapping that helps us figure out where to go next. Early spring, fish are gonna start out near shoreline locations. It's really common around open or to pitch jigs up to shallow rocks, areas just like this. As we progress further from spring into summer, those fish will follow this hard bottom out. It becomes, as an underwater point, a natural pathway for fish migration. Now, as we get into midsummer, those fish inhabit offshore reef areas. Large structures like this offshore reef become prime areas in the summertime. One of the hardest parts about looking at a piece of structure like this is looking at all those contours. I focus in on inside turns just like this one. So what this area has is it's got a lot of shallow water, rocks up top where fish like to come up and feed shallow, but quick access to the depths right here. So fish that are resting can hang out on this inside turn. As they become active and want to feed, they can easily slide up and eat and drop back down again. Targeting areas like this allow you to catch fish in various stages of aggression, whether they're neutral or whether they're ready to eat. And this tells you a lot about where to find fish on the rest of the piece of structure. Understanding contour mapping, your electronics, and following fish from their spring shoreline areas to the hard bottom transitions out to the depths, and then breaking down key pieces of big underwater reef systems via fishing some of those inside turns are gonna help you simply catch more fish.